Thunder. Nah, really? Couldn't tell. Huh. Okay, so this new armor equip lowers my overall health. I didn't know that the armors did that. God. Get down from there. Hmm. Anything interesting happen this week? Uh, I think this is the max challenge I can do. Uh, I'm not sure we can go back, can we? Poison this thing on. Oh my goodness, this guy is getting sick. Oh! 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 My goodness, he was well into me. Only thing that saved my life is this armor I'm wearing. I think he was going to stomp on me, burn me with fire, poison me. I'm still going. This is getting annoying. Oh, he's about to die. About to have another capture. I gotta go back to base camp. That's upsetting. Right on top of us. Oh, he's probably can't get What's the first question mark over here? Uh, Is that a box? I think that's all a box. Found a box. Bronze. Oh, there it is. Wakey, wakey. What's with the question mark I'm seeing? That's two captures. Well, that's probably alerting me. This car is staying there. Ooh, there's a red Raffalos. Let's take that one too. 
Is that red or is that pink? Yeah, just a regular wrap. I'm gonna grab all my stuff back. I'm not going through that humility all over again. Health bars ain't going down yet. I'm trying to find out last block. Where's the last block at? On my way to get to that place. Up here. Ooh. <coughs> what? Come on, another box over here. Ain't give me no armor yet. Everything else but armor. I was a yawn this time. Push the rock over there. So, how is everybody's day today? Good. To play about. Everything Ain't good food. Really well. Watch Justice League. Not too bad. Oh, do not ruin Justice League. Do not ruin Justice League. It did. It did. Don't ruin it. I mean, it's the truth. Keep your opinions to yourself. I want to make my own opinion. You haven't seen it yet? Nope. See, what happened is... <laughs> some people, some people, I've heard some people really like it and some people really hate it, so I just... I, I'm one of the people who hate it. Opinion. Hmm? One of the people who hate it. I like it. I don't need to. He's not a DC person. He's you never guy. seen it, Mike? I've yeah. seen some of it. I saw the movie, but I mean, I didn't see the, the, the Schneider's cut. But if it, I already heard that it's basically just a move, but it's in it, I'm like, nah. No, it ain't the same. It is not the same. Where did this thing go? It was right in front of me. It uh, decided to take a hike somewhere. Well, you know, it's, a, it's hard for a movie to be exactly the same when it's like two hours long. <laughs> <sighs> they just apparently... Oh, wait, you don't want spoilers, because I already know what happens, but I would tell you, though. No, I, I would rather... Figure it out myself, watch it, enjoy it, and then decide if I hate it or not. Where do they keep it? Because I'm going be, to be judging everything from the acting to the story. To capture it? To, yeah, the uh, blue one's captured. Trying everything. To the, red one. the red one is what I was asking for. I found it. Oh, I'm on it. I keep talking, Chad. Yeah, I'm gonna be judging everything, the acting, the storyline, the the uh, the aesthetics, the way they shoot the film, and be judging everything. Please. Well, all that stuff's the same as the original. It's just an extended cut, if that makes sense. So, it, whatever your opinion was at well, the two-hour one, it should basically stay the same. No, well, there are reshoots. Nah, and then and then they added some it's stuff. not exactly the same at all. So. Yeah, your cousin is rotten, rotten, rotten tomatoes is uh, yeah, rotten tomatoes has said that it's getting all kinds of good reviews, and so I'm like, okay, well, let's see what what's really going on. Is rotten tomatoes right, or is it just people trying to? Trying to just be on Zack Snyder's side. So, Joshua, have you already watched it too? So, 
This has been getting a lot of hype, and I just want to see for myself if it stands up to the hype. Uh-oh. Damn, been broken. Well, if you're not a, a strong of a DC fan as Simon, then it probably won't. I just got up here. I like the Justice League. Question mark over here. The Justice League is good. Yeah. In my opinion, they are... Um, the stories are more well-rounded at times. To where, you know, with Marvel... A lot of times they just kind of give you the action and you're supposed to accept it. Even if there's not a huge story. No, I actually agree with that. Seen of course you would, Simon. Now, like you're so pure Seen DC. These whoever movies now, looks like they're just more focused on action than story. Right but I mean, that's, that's what, that's what they're I just got that's down here. But, uh, what I, what I don't like about DC is that, uh, they're kind of like Dragon Ball Z, they just kind of focus on a few main characters. There's no, there's no branching out. Yep, yeah, Superman, that's... Batman, Wonder Woman, Flash. You got true, hordes true. and hordes of characters, but nothing going on with anybody else. So, that's, that's something true. that I don't really like. Thank you. Have you read my story, Michael? I have, yeah. Oh, this is fucking sick. Whoa! It's dropping. No, I was gonna ask if, um... No, I like it. It's just that there's some, uh, misspelled things here and there. Oh, really? Okay. Actually, I was... I put it on Google Documents and I started editing it. <laughs> That's fine. I was gonna send it to you and be like, hey, look, yeah, this highlight, this highlight, that. This could sound a little bit better. This, but. It's like, I'm reading it and I'm getting into it, and then it just. There's certain words that just doesn't make sense in my life. <laughs> but I understand that you have to, you know, proofread everything. So far, you know, I'm into the story. Like, okay. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Certain areas that he's in. But it's not big or anything. It's not going to change the story. Well, I mean, just go ahead. Certain areas in there, you can say, and. Put a comma in here. Excuse me, just write a song. That's what you mean, because, um, I'm not perfect. But other than that, you know, uh, I think it has depth, character, uh, development, score. I can, I can imagine where I'm at by how you're talking about it, how you're describing how uh, clever is, hungry, I was churning in the stomach and all that stuff, so I like it. Okay. So comparing it to the book of, uh, 
Guardian of Wills Star Wars book. Oh. I got the name of the person made by, but I'm reading that and I'm seeing all the commas here and commas there, or how it's worded here, how it's worded there, and I can read your book. I'm like, yeah, I'm into it just as much as I'm into the Star Wars book. That's my professional, so pretty good. Well, you know, I've been writing it for a really long time, so <laughs> I hope it would be pretty good. I would hate to write it and be like, man, this is dang. I'd be like, oh, no. But, I mean, that could happen too, so. Like I was telling Simon, I've always liked books that <laughs> has animals in it, fiction books. Yeah. I've yeah. read books with a badger, books with a dog, books with a, what do you call it? The rats, mice. Their adventures with swords and fighting falcons oh, yeah. and things like that. So I remember like, I gave you that uh, <laughs> that Gregor the Overlander book? No? You read with the Overlander the rats? book? Oh, yeah. yeah. Now I was wondering what that book was called. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's, the Greg, it's the Gregor series, the Overlander series. Overlander, that's... Yeah, yeah I, I, I think that's a really good series. I still got the books. I should probably go back and read them. I remember you gave me the Gregor book. Yeah, I didn't put that down <laughs> even when I was supposed to be going to sleep. I was still reading it. Oh! Oh, One more ride. So I ran into some creatures on my way over here, so I'll be delayed slightly. Oh, hey. Hey, Chad. Yeah, what's up? Tell me if you heard of a character that's kind of like this. You know, the character is a good guy. You get to know the character well, you know how they are. And then it's like out of the nowhere, they have like a 180 turn in their personality. Now they're not really so much of a good person, but now they're like a villain. Mm -hmm. And the main protagonist doesn't really know what happened. And that this uh, person that used to be a good guy now turned villain. Turns out that he's actually pretty much a victim of himself. The protagonist yeah. has to take him out, but turns out that they're like, pretty much a victim, a victim himself from a much grander scene. Well, uh, uh, yeah, I've heard of that. Uh, you could say that's uh, pretty much the uh, Anakin Skywalker type of character. Uh, yeah, very, yeah, very Anakin Skywalker. But what if there's another, another twist? The person that's now a bad guy turns out that the actual true person is actually still alive. And that this evil version of him is like a clone. That some sort of powerful force is using to kind of like infiltrate. Something like that. Where did you watch uh, DC? Uh, Young Justice? Young Justice. I, uh, I watched Young yeah. Justice. I finished that. Yeah, so if you watch DC Young Justice, you'll realize that Speedy is actually a clone of the original Speedy. Yeah, I know. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, so he, uh, so he was there to infiltrate the Justice League, and once he did, he realized it, that he was a clone and that he had been posing to do all these things. And then the original Speedy got released, they found him, and when he got released, he had all this resentment because he had been frozen for so long, nobody came to find him, blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, uh, you could do that. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that storyline. It's a very good storyline. Has it been done before? Yes, it has. Yes. But, I mean, it, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard trying to find. It's going to be hard trying to. Yeah, go. Uh, you take care of those shielded, stupid robots. Yeah. Well, where am I? So, yeah. Uh, but if you're looking oh. for. If you're looking for a character to change what the hit ways me? 
But if mm. you're looking for like a something, like, I would look more towards. Um, All right, that stupid sniper keeps shooting at me only. Uh, you know what I mean? Who would I look towards for a character that 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 changes their ways? Look at um. Where are you, Simon? Still on the ref, both still up high. I gotta use the restroom, so I'm gonna return to camp temporarily, alright? Okay. Where's the, the nearest camp? There it is. Fast travel. Yes, we're right back. Alright, I think, okay, listen, this is the thing that you like, right? Something you like. You like Dragon Ball Z, right? You have two main characters in Dragon Ball Z that change their ways. You have Pickle Here. and you I'll have. Uh, a Vegeta, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Each one of them changed their ways, but for specific reasons. Right? Yeah. Uh, and then they have a reason to, to stay that way. With Piccolo, it was Gohan. With um, Vegeta, it was Bulma. So you have to have something for the character to... Um, so you have to have uh, you have to have something that the character can hold on to, you know, a reason for them to make the change. My boot. Right. Without mm -hmm. that, then the, then the character is just they're just doing stuff, you know, for no real reason. But if you have a character who's a good guy and he becomes evil, but you know, is like, is he really evil or is he doing it for a means to an end? You know. Yeah. Uh, you know, or is it a or is it a, a character's lost their way because somebody died and now they don't know what to do with themselves? Hey, they just do whatever they do for over money. Here. Or, you know. mm -hmm. or you could have let's see, you could have a character who is disillusioned with the world. Look at a uh, look like Anakin Skywalker. Anakin Skywalker became disillusioned with the world around him. He didn't trust anybody or anything. And so he didn't even trust his own woman. He didn't trust his own woman. You know what I'm saying? He thought that his best friend was was trying to steal his woman, take his woman away from him. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you when you change a character, when you make them do a complete 180, there has to be a oh, reason. There we go. Oh, he's sick. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm yeah. Like that. So yeah, you, you can't. Uh, if you change a character without thought process, without reason, it's going to bring up a lot of questions, a lot of idiosyncrasies. People aren't going to be able to buy the story, if you see mm -hmm. what I'm saying. But, yeah. if, you, if you have a character who is like, you know, um, say, uh, what's, 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 what's a good reference for a character um, that, that changes? Um, look at a... Okay, look at Wolverine. Before Wolverine joined the X-Men, he was nasty, rugged, would would do anything, you know, for, for any cause. Didn't matter to him, really. But he, a lot of times he did that stuff because he was under mind control or because he just didn't care, right? Mm -hmm. All right, all of a sudden he sees Jean Grey. Now he's in love with Jean Grey, and that makes him want to change. Right? That box over here. All right. Only, you know, that's the only reason he really wants to change is for Jean, for Jean Grey. So, you could use love for a change. You could use um, power. Some people see power. Some people see riches. Some people are just greedy. Um, you could also do it to where, like, the uh, look at um, look at uh, uh, look at the story of uh, uh, Troy. Helen of Troy was a woman. Paris took her because. They were in love. People do stupid things for love, you know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean that happens all the time. For so, love, yeah. People do anything for love. You know what I'm saying? You have mm -hmm. uh, people who have massive hatred, like Hitler. Why do you think Hitler wanted to kill all the Jews? He was rejected by them. He also Not wanted to kill all the witnesses as well. Yeah, but. It, so, well, so why did he want to kill the witnesses? He didn't want to kill the witnesses at first. It's not until that we stood up against him that he was like, oh, you know what? Now I must destroy you. I must destroy you. I must be strong. As if God he himself. thought he could. You know, and, and to think about it, like, think about this. You have somebody 
who was rejected by his people, and then he decides to destroy them, and then and being one of them, you know, nobody questioned that Hitler was Jewish himself. Nobody thought about that. Hmm. And and so you know, so yeah. Then after after so many victories, you have a man who starts to believe that he's more powerful than God, that he can stomp out God's people. You know. Yeah. A lot of times, the worst villain is somebody who used to be on your side. You know. Yeah, um, that is true. All right. Uh, what have you done, Simon? Where are you? All right. I was in the process of taking out a roll, capturing or, a roll. Uh, about to go get some things. Is it asleep? Or is it the ninety-three sleep? No, he was asleep. And shows that he woke up. But I didn't have any uh, tranquilizers. So I'm gonna try again. I see, I see a I see a red Rathalos asleep on my map. Really? Yeah. You can keep going, Chad. Sorry. No, that's fine. It's just, uh, or you can look at you can look at a biblical character. Look at a character who was who was great, had a great future, and then threw it all the way. Like Saul. Saul did it all for. You know, he, he, why did he attack David? Because he was jealous of him. He was jealous. Mm -hmm. You know. Huh? <laughs> I what? guess so. I didn't realize it. So that can also be a. Oh, it's a whole mission. Uh, I've seen this before. A great uh, motivator, jealousy, wanting what somebody else has or wanting to be somebody else. You know, that was a uh, that was Saul's ultimate downfall that he was jealous of David because you know he made a mistake. Mm-hmm. But you have that too. Jealousy is crazy motivator. There's people that are, that are jealous all the time. You know? That's why they call them haters. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like Michael, or, you know, uh, Iron Mike over here working out, pumping that iron muscle. Mike, I'm pretty sure he goes to the gym and works out, and there are people who could be envious of his, of his workout routine. People who could be envious of his figure. People who could be envious or jealous of what he's doing. You had know, he more people <laughs> envious of my car rather than my workouts. Still, but you don't, but you don't know that sometimes. You know, you go to the gym and you're in the attention to the team. I can. Yeah. How many dudes when they think like, oh, man, you have to do that. I wish I could be up in the Indians of that. And to me, you're like, oh, man, you're like, star break and lots of things. You know, you just don't make up. You know, you can just do those things. You have to work really hard for the higher people that are out there. But they don't have to hire the series. You know, you can do those things. So, it's, that can kind of come to your end. Appreciate it, Chad. I'm just, I'm just kidding. And then later on, you know, revealing it because everybody's always going to want to know why. You mm -hmm. know, why is the biggest question. So it's okay to write it without telling anybody, or, or not even having a, having an idea of why this book is even. But he did it. You're going to have to. You're going to have to catch up. You're going to have to figure out why. You know, so that's it. Yeah, yeah. You can. Here's, here's, here's the awesome part about writing a story is that you can go in any direction you want. It's just mm -hmm. eventually you have to make sense of that direction, you know. So like, uh, like in my head, I came up with a story about, um, uh, and, you know, another story for clever, and um, I was trying to figure out uh, how he could, how uh, clever could bring uh, water to the waterless, and so I kept doing research on water and how to get water and you know dry areas. And lo and behold, I found a bug that can actually uh, pull water out of thin air. It's a beetle, and what the beetle does is uh, during dusk, you know, or not dusk, during uh, dawn, when there's dew, the beetle will turn upside down on its head and catch uh, uh, dew drops from the air. And wow. it'll collect dew 